Hello, this is Robert Perkins, the immigration professor. Um, these are informational videos that I'm doing on various immigration topics. If you'd like to see all my videos, you can visit our website at www.immigration-professor.com or if you have questions about your specific case, you can contact our offices at 310-384-0200. We have offices in Illinois and California and we service clients all around the United States because immigration law is federal law and we'd love to help you with your case. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that's hot off the presses and it's immigration reform. What is the current immigration reform proposal? What is going on right now and um, what can we do to help support immigration reform uh, to pass our, our Congress right now? Currently right now um, there's been a proposal by Senator Schumer and Senator Graham. Senator Schumer is a Democrat, Senator Graham is a Republican. Um, to basically mend our immigration system and try to do something about immigration reform, trying to do something both about um, people here illegally to um, enforce the laws um, against them as well as to create a fair path to citizenship for those that have been here for a long um, period of time and to prevent um, future illegal immigration from happening. Uh, the other element of this is to create a system whereby people can uh, come into the United States more easily to work in professions that need work. So what are the elements of this system? There's basically four elements. This is um, an article actually from the Washington Post that talks a little bit about the proposal as it exists today. Um, the first element of the proposal is to require um, biometric Social Security cards. With technology today, um, we can now have a Social Security card which could actually be swiped. And the whole idea behind this is that there wouldn't be an actual government database that would be kept to monitor people because there are civil liberties concerns with that, but this would create a system that doesn't exist today where employers could actually verify with accuracy whether someone is legally entitled to work. Currently what tends to happen is you know people can present a fake green card or fake other document to go and work. Employers are not necessarily required to be experts at verifying this but there really is no system or no database whereby they can um, verify it currently. There is a database that's being used by certain government employers but it's proved to be not accurate. So the, the proposal would replace it nationally where everybody would have these biometric social security cards and, and it would be able to be um, accurate. The second um, piece of this reform proposal, and again this is more on the enforcement side, is to come down against employers that hire um, illegals um, with pretty strict penalties. The penalties would be more severe fines than already exist. Right now employers can be fined for hiring illegals but the fines are low. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about some things that are currently going on even under the existing law against employers. But the new proposal would actually make it a criminal offense for employers um, to hire illegals and um, once they do it again, they do it more than once and they do it knowingly, then the violations would be against the criminal law, meaning that the employers could serve prison time for this. Currently what's going on is we are seeing a, a greater enforcement against employers, um, more raids by immigration against employers, and even in some cases the use of the criminal laws against employers where in some cases, the employer may have done more than hire an illegal. They may have provided room and board, transportation. And what we're seeing is that the government is actually saying you are now harboring an illegal um, more than just employing, which is a separate crime. And they are actually um, uh, going after employers with jail time and pretty heavily, heavy fines, sometimes in the millions. Um, of dollars for, for hiring illegals. So those are two proposals to sort of satisfy the enforcement element of, of, the, um, of the piece of immigration reform. 
The third element uh, of Senator Schumer and Graham's proposals is to create a process to admit temporary workers. Right now, there's really no way to hire, especially unskilled workers, um, in different areas and to do it legally and to do it in a time uh, sensitive manner. So, what they're proposing is to do it where the employer is able to demonstrate a shortage. We don't really know what this means. There are current visas that, that do allow uh, this, although they're very inefficient. Presumably, Senator Schumer and Graham's proposals would make, uh, make the process much more efficient and, and usable. So, we'll see what, what they have to say. And the last element is, is to create a uh, path to citizenship um, to people that are here illegally. Um, the path to citizenship, of course, would include um, making them permanent residents first. What the senators have proposed is that um, they should pay back taxes and fines for having been here illegally. And we're not sure exactly how much those fines would be or what that would involve. Um, the, also, as part of the proposal, the, the people that would be involved would have to learn English. So we're not sure exactly how that would go, but that's part of the proposal. And the last um, piece of the proposal um, is, is basically to spend more money on the border to hire more people to prevent people from coming illegally. So. Uh, this is, you know, the five sort of cornerstones of the reform process that's going to happen. Um, currently, we're in ele an election year, so it'd be interesting to see how that's going to pan out. Um, there was a big demonstration. I'm now speaking to you on the 5th of April. A couple weeks ago, there was a big demonstration in Washington. A lot of groups that favor reform and making the process fair. About 200,000 people, maybe a little less than that. Uh, demonstrated in front of the White House in favor of immigration reform. So you can see all of my informational videos on immigration topics on my website www.immigration-professor.com or if you have a specific immigration case please call our offices at 310-384-0200. As I mentioned before we have helped people from all over the United States and in fact all over the world on immigration issues. People call my office and ask me all the time, you know, what's going to happen? Um, I, I wish I had a crystal ball. I wish I could predict what's going to happen. Um, and right now, it's really hard to say whether a broad-based reform will pass. However, um, President Obama was elected with great help from the Hispanic community. And one would think that he would personally want to, at least before he's re-elected in 2012, or runs for re-election, I should more accurately say, that he would want to, um, you know, give back to the Hispanic constituency that helped get him elected in certain states. So, even if a broad-based reform such as this is not passed, um, my personal opinion, and it's just an opinion, is that we might expect to see some favorable legislation uh, for immigrants passed. Um, one example would be the, the DREAM Act, um, D-R-E-A-M, and without getting into details, this is an act that's been relatively uncontroversial, even though it hasn't passed, which would help the uh, sons and daughters of people that came illegally who um, need an education or have attended high school here to legalize. Again, you can see all my informational videos uh, on immigration on my website, www.immigration-professor.com or call my office at 310-384-0200 if you need specific immigration help. Thank you so much.